We're here to reflect on the incredibly sad events that happened last night. I have no words to help you make sense of this, and you know that. I've stood up here for decades with you. We've cried, we've cheered, and we've cried again because our family was attacked last night. And anyone who is a decent human being was attacked last night. This is a time not just for gay people, but for all of us that stand for the things that make this country great and give us hope as human beings. What happened in the early morning hours in Orlando, Florida, has rippled across the land and leaving in its wake a wide and violent trail of grief and anger and fear. And many of us in the gay community know what it is like to grieve and to be angry and to be afraid. We know what it is like to be attacked. The last thing the world needs right now is more hatred and more sorrow. And to answer hatred with hate is to surrender. For when we hate, we forfeit our own humanity. And when we forfeit our own humanity, evil wins. My name is Deb Taft. Deb, Deb as in Deborah. Yep. Taft. Who do you represent? Human Rights Campaign. National Board of the Human Rights Campaign. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer organization. I serve on the National Board of Directors and I represent and share these words on behalf of the board and on behalf of our president, Chad Griffin. In this historic town, in this community that is so important to and in fact at the heart of the LGBTQ movement. We are grieving for the families and our hearts are broken for their friends, their families, and for the entire community. Pulse, the nightclub Pulse, holds a unique and special place in Orlando's LGBTQ community, serving as a beacon for understanding and tolerance, a gathering place for the community and its allies, targeting. We're grateful that President Obama has directed the FBI and other federal agencies to support this investigation of the attack and the LGBTQ community during this horrific time. We have also asked the White House and the FBI to ensure appropriate level of security at Pride celebrations as they continue throughout our nation. As both Ms. Richfield said and Cheryl Andrews said, we have stood here on these steps of Town Hall at times of great joy, whether that was on May 17th of 2004 or just a year ago when we celebrated the Supreme Court decision. That's when I got my t-shirt, as a matter of fact. <laughs> we've also stood together in this community at times of sorrow, as we've lost community members, as we stood together right after the attacks on the World Trade Center and came together as a community to mourn that. And now we're here today to mourn an event and those who were murdered last night in the wee hours of this morning at a gay club in Orlando, Florida. And I think for many of us who are here, this hits home in a way that other tragedies haven't hit home. Who among us hasn't been on vacation and said to your boyfriend, girlfriend, your spouse, you know what, when was the last time we went out dancing? Let's just go and have some fun. And that's all those people were doing last night. That's all our people were doing last night. When we arrive at the boat slip, um, we will will enter and we'll have a moment of silence to remember the victims and their families, those who lost their lives and those who were traumatized by those events in the club, those who witnessed it. So thank you for coming and let's begin our walk. Wow. Oh. 
community. Of course. Now we gather to mourn the lives of our brothers and sisters in Orlando. So if you uh, would all join each other and grab hands and take a moment of silence in their memory, maybe the power of our collective prayers and love would speed them on their way. Way up high, there's a land that I heard of. Once in a lullaby 